The name of our, our jet ski system is DUX, standing for Dynamic Underwater Coastal and Kinematic Surveying System. Prior to our jet ski and our GPS technology, we had uh, very standard traditional surveying techniques where we actually had a swimmer swim out with a rod uh, into the surf zone, try and hold the rod steady while somebody shot it with a, a total station. It's a very labor intensive, very slow process. Uh, and so we decided that with something like this, we can collect as much data in one day as it would take us a week or more to collect uh, the old way. On the back of this right now, we have a sounder, which is just collecting depth information. But really what we can attach to the back of it is limitless. We can collect information in terms of dye concentrations in a water column. We can collect current information. This kind of fit naturally in with uh, what we do, what we've always done, uh, collecting field data, uh, primarily on Jersey's beaches, but uh, also in New York State. And anywhere where there's uh, uh, restrictions in terms of space uh, and depth, uh, we can get this jet ski in places where boats can't go usually. This is another uh, critical part of our, our GPS system. This is our, our base station. Uh, this is basically what lets it, uh, or what causes it to be more accurate than our traditional car-based GPS system. As we set this up over a known point, a point that's been surveyed in using traditional methods. So it takes the information from the GPS corrects it and makes it much more precise than what we get in a, a car measurement. And the whole time that we're out on the jet ski, we know where we are within a matter of centimeters. But the key is that we need to be able to uh, obviously steer this and turn very rapidly if we need to get out of a bad situation. Uh, we need to be able to see what's going on on our display screen but not be distracted by it. So up on here, this is the, the readout or display that lets us know when we're on the jet ski. Uh, where we are, how deep the water is. In here we have uh, basically the computer part of uh, this GPS system. This Pelican box contains our basically the, the, the brains of our sounder. It gets very hot back here, so we have to have a computer that cools itself pretty quickly. These rubber tubes are actually a neat little uh, cooling system, again designed by our staff at, at Davidson Lab. The jet ski operates on a pump, so we siphon some of that water off, run it through our computer box, so we actually introduce water in, inside of our watertight box but it runs past the computer and cools it off and keeps it at a, 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 a good operating temperature for us. Right now we have about seven or eight graduate students ranging from beginning master students to PhD students uh, working on various aspects of the system. It's really given a lot of opportunity um, to uh, undergraduates to, to come work with us. Great thing about that for them is it's a summer project where they get to go out to the beach and actually help us collect data. That's a really neat thing and a really unique aspect about a school like Stevens.